Welcome to Phineas and Ferb, a show about two brothers making the best of their summer while their older sister tries to ruin everything. And I don't know why or how, but these kids have 104 days of summer vacation. But somehow there are 228 episodes in the movie of the show. Now times that by the fact that every episode technically has two in every episode, but minus the confirmed non-summers, and we have... Even if my math is wrong, these children are getting more summer than they're letting on. Phineas and Ferb are two brothers, like I mentioned before. Phineas is a Dorito Hood kid who's pretty good with words and is a pretty good person. Ferb is a British baseball bat who barely speaks but somehow is good with the ladies. <laughs> All my guys out there know that that's not true. Together they build inventions that probably cost so much that it really makes you think questions like, Are Phineas and Ferb billionaires? If so, how do they get money? Are Phineas and Ferb so smart that they just created money out of thin air? because that's apparently possible in this universe, and is actually probably the actual answer. Oh my goodness, I think Phineas and Ferb are doing illegal stuff. But rest assured that Candace is here to not answer those questions, cause we're moving on. So stop it. Use your imagination once in a while, theorists. Anyway, Candace is their older sister who wants to bust them. And by bust means get them in trouble and probably send them to jail. Somehow, I don't know, she probably didn't think far ahead. But don't worry, Candace actually really loves her brothers, but is just hiding it under teen angst and guilt of not having enough cool ideas and probably not being as smart as her brothers. Anyway, every single episode, Candace tries to do this, but fails miserably in a very spectacular manner. Anyway, meet the rest of this colorful cast, including Baljeet, Isabella, and Buford. Baljeet is the guy from Big Bang Theory if he was more of a nerd. Isabella is the next door neighbor character that isn't annoying or grating and actually has a crush on Phineas. So that's a cute thing that happens. Buford is the bully, but actually kind of a friend to everybody and is actually probably soft on the inside. And then meet the parents who are also there just to, you know, add in some jokes and, you know, be parents so that these kids have role models and other things to do, I guess. So. Yeah. Also, guess what? These children have a pet platypus named Perry. Perry the platypus. <laughs> uh, why is that funny? Besides the fact that platypuses are probably illegal in America, this platypus is also a secret agent who works for a secret organization called The Organization without a cool acronym. I'm not making this stuff up. Anyway, there are other animal agents, led by Mr. Mustache himself, Major Monogram. You see, every agent needs to fight a secret supervillain across Danville and the rest of the world, I think. And Agent P, or Agent Perry, has to fight the evil Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is probably the best character in this TV show, besides Perry. But the thing is, He's not really a supervillain, or at least he calls himself a supervillain, but is so incompetent that it's actually laughable. He likes to create innators or machines, and at the end of every episode, Agent P defeats Dr. Doofenshmirtz, and his innator is always destroyed, which then takes out Phineas and Ferb's inventions right before Candace brings her mom to it just to see that nothing is there. This happens every single episode, mind you. And every single time, it is new and creative. And while the show is also very funny and very formulaic, but also very creative, this show has a lot of songs. And just about every single song is a bop. From Uchigichi Goo, I Love You, to the Doofenshmirtz Jingle. So everyone, please go watch the show. It is amazing. Smiles to you. Hello everybody, uh, I just wanted to pop in here and to say just thank you for watching the video, uh, and again, smiles to you, and watch the show.